Watch you guys, got another video here for you on why is my computer so loud? We're going to take a look at how we can fix a loud PC. As you can see, this is pretty loud. It's over 55 decibels in places. And the reason for this is because the fans are spinning super fast. I get asked this question all the time. Why is my fan spinning so fast and I can't control them? So we're going to go through what type of fans there is and why uh, they are so loud and how you can try to fix this issue. So as you can see, we've got a PC running here at 52.9 decibels and uh, that's pretty loud and uh, as you can imagine with more fans in the system so i want to show you how we can reduce this uh, down a fair bit now looking at the side of the case as well with the panel off here you can see here it's pretty loud as well with the side panel off it gets close to you know 57 plus 58 as you can see here 58.8 which is quite loud so we're nearly close to 60 decibels here and the reason for that is we don't have any sort of fan curve set up for the fans to slow them down. Also, there's reasons why your PC may be spinning this fast because you may not be uh, connected to a PWM connector. So this is our exhaust fan here. We have this one here and you can see it's spinning pretty fast and that's what's creating the sound and the loud noise. We also have two up the top here as well. These are as extraction fans as well and th these fans are spinning pretty fast. We also have a closed loop wall cord system on here with a tiny little fan. We have two fans on the GPU and we have a fan on the power supply and we also have three fans on the front. So you can imagine having this many fans in a computer is gonna create quite a bit of noise if you haven't got them under any sort of control with PWM connectors on the motherboard. So let's take a look at some of the fan types and uh, I can explain to you the reasons why your PC may be spinning up at really high speeds. Now, when you buy a computer case, sometimes you buy computer cases that come with RGB fans in them and they have their own proprietary connector on these, especially if it's a cheaper uh, type of case around about $30 or $50. You generally get uh, some RGB fans in them like this one here. And they normally have their own proprietary type of hub that you plug these into. Unfortunately, some of these don't have a connector going to the PWM on the motherboard. And what that means is you won't be able to control them. They generally have a SATA connection at the bottom where it will control the speed, which means you're going to be running at full speed through that SATA cable. This is another generic type of fan that you get with a case for free. And to believe it or not, these are not that great. And it doesn't matter what manufacturer name is on the fan. They're generally uh, cheap budget fans. You can see Molex connector here. And this one has a free pin connector, which means you're going to have trouble controlling this. This will be a DC connection on the motherboard here. And these are pretty tricky to uh, get control of in the BIOS. So that is a cheap budget fan. And a lot of people leave these in thinking they're getting some sort of deal when they buy a cheap case because it comes with free fans in them. Now, these are pretty good fans. These are Arctic fans, and these are P12 PWM PST fans, which means you can daisy chain these and connect them all together, as you can see here. This is a four pin header on here. And this means when you use fans like these, these PWM uh, connectors, you plug these into your motherboard and basically you can control them inside the BIOS, which means you control the speed of the fan so you can turn them down and also you will get much better quality airflow with a better quality fan. So these connections are much better. And the good thing about these is you may only have one header on the board, which means you can daisy chain these fans all together and come off of one PW fan header on the motherboard. So these are the fans that you really want to go for. So you can check these out and these are them here and I'll leave some links in the video description uh, for some good quality fans that you can use in your PC build. So don't always go for a case that has three fans or four fans for free inside the case because sometimes they're not much good and you're going to end up having to replace them anyway. And you can see the quality specs on here. They give you all the dimensions of the fan and the revs per minute, which is 1800 revs per minute 
which is pretty high. If you had no control over these, they would be super loud, but these do have some sort of control. You've got airflow on here, which is your CFM, and you've got a load of other information on there. So always read this information and try to understand it to get the best sort of fans for your PC build. Now, some of the more branded names like Corsair and other names like that, these fans are going to be very expensive. So do your research and you can get good quality fans without spending an absolute fortune. Now, if you look at these particular fans, these are another RGB type fan and you can see they have their own proprietary connector on it. And these normally come with a fan hub. And when you plug these in, uh, you plug them all into the fan hub. And then basically with this particular brand, you can actually run a PWM cable from the hub to the actual uh, motherboard which means you can control them they will be plugged into a SATA connector which I'll show you here let me just get them out of the packet and I'll show you them here so you can see so as you can see here this particular brand has a remote control and also there is a hub here and this allows you to control the RGB by the remote control and also by addressable RGB headers on the motherboard these are proprietary connectors here as you can see for these fans so be careful with that. You won't be able to put any old fan in them. They come with their own proprietary connector. The good thing about this package of uh, fans is that they are connected via SATA connector here to give it power, but they also have a cable that you can go to straight to the motherboard and address uh, these uh, fans to a nice RGB color that syncs with the motherboard. And also we have another header on the board here which goes to the actual hub which controls the fan speed so you can see the pwm connector here so if you're buying these cheap fan kits always do your research and look at the actual box or the description to make sure that these are actually pwm controlled if they're not then steer clear of them now there is a lot of cheap fan kits on amazon that don't support addressable rgb or pwm uh, sync which means you can control the fan speed by this uh, pwm fan speed controller which goes to the motherboard there is a lot of kits out there that don't support that and if it just supports the sata connector for power then steer clear of them you will not be able to control the fan speed you might have rgb but you won't be able to control the fan speed on those cheaper kits so don't buy those particular fans these particular fan kits you can do you can come in here and you can see the fans that are spinning inside the bios here which is the fan profile the cpu fan the chassis fan and so on you can see a bunch of them here so you can control all the all of these fan speeds with the uh, cpu fan controller or q fan control on this motherboard so other motherboards may be slightly different but if they are pwm connectors that connect to the motherboard you should be able to reduce the fan speeds and get that speed uh, slowed down a little bit when you don't need it and it will be much more quieter. So click on the Q fan control here, and you can see that they are set to manual. That means that we can then control the fans, each of these fans ourselves, and set like a little arc on the fans here with these little dots on the fan graph. That means we can adjust these to our own liking. The reason why you'd want to do that, meaning that if the PC was idle, you may want to have lower speeds. Uh, if your PC is running at a higher speed when you're gaming, you may want to go at 100%. So you can adjust the fan curve on these. And you can go to standard, silent, turbo, full speed, or manual, depending on what you want to do. You can even turn the fans off as well. And these are on DC or PWM, depending on what type of fans you've got here. So you can see this is the PWM. And when you go on PWM, we can adjust these. So these are the ones that you really want to go for here. So PWM, we'll have a look at adjusting this here. So you can see I can make a curve here and adjust that sort of curve on the fan and make it much more quieter. You can also use the silent mode as well. This means that when your PC is not being used so much, it will be silent. And then when your PC is gaming or something like that or video editing, it will ramp up and go to a much more higher speed let me just show you some of these uh, adjustments here that you can do so to control these fans manually you would put it on manual setting and you would then 
uh, grab hold of one of these little uh, balls here and you would uh, literally move it up and down. You can see the temperature going up and down and also the power duty, which is the percentage of that fan speed. So you could put these in a location of when you want to, say, for instance, play a game, you could say, I want it going at 100% when I'm playing games. But when I'm idling and, say, surfing the web, you can have it running, say, at 30%. Or something like that so you can just adjust all of these to suit your own needs now another thing you can do is optimize all of the fans together by clicking on this one here and this will automatically scan your system this is Q fan tuning and it will basically take two to five minutes so what it's going to do is it may ramp up the fans a little bit loud and this is going to go full speed and then it will go all the way down to virtually stop and then it will work out roughly what the fan curve should be for all of your fans you can do this method if you wish if you don't want to mess around manually but if you do want to adjust it manually you can do so just let this um, calibrating go on it does take a little bit of time and then when this is complete you should have a much more better fan curve for your fans so i just did an auto fan here and i'm going to test the sound decibels here to see how quiet it is and as you can see here that's pretty quiet. It's gone down to 38.1, which is very good compared to what it was near 60. So it's literally come all the way down and it's not as noisy as it once was. Let's have a sound test. And you can hear that is a lot more quieter. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. Hope this one has been some sort of use for you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to all my YouTube members. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.